Hey everyone, so I guess I'm making my first controversial video on this channel this week, so here we go. And I'm also saying contro controversial, controversial, controver controversial, con, con, I'm already forgetting what the f***ing word is called now, controversial. So for my returning subscribers, as you guys know, I usually make videos every week that are kind of like funny and all over the place, don't really have a plot, but this week I wanted to make a video about something that isn't really that talked about and I don't think should be controversial because I'm just giving an opinion on something, but there is definitely going to be people out there that disagree with it and that's okay. If I say anything that you guys do not agree with and do not want to hear, feel free to just click off and come back next week or never come back again if you hate me that much, but I think that this should be an open-ended discussion where I can express how I feel about something and maybe you can change your mind said about it if you don't agree and then we can be adults about it. So for this week I wanted to get into the lovely topic of toxic masculinity and what does that mean? So according to Wikipedia, toxic masculinity is thus defined by adherence to traditional male gender roles that restricts the kinds of emotions allowable for boys and men to express, including social expectations that men seek to be dominant, the alpha male, and limit their emotional range primarily to expressions of anger. Wow. Before even diving into this video, I do want to mention that I'm, I'm not trying to do several things. I'm not trying to shove my opinion onto you. Feel free to leave if you don't want to hear it. Also, I am not going as far as saying that like you shouldn't. There's extreme, there's a really extreme people out there that are saying how people dress up their boys with like blue clothing and stuff and they're saying that you shouldn't shove that on your children. I think that that's perfectly fine. If you're dressing your, your son up as a boy, I think that's perfectly fine. I think once they start getting older and realize that they want to dress differently or do whatever they want to do that makes them happy, then that's that's on their own decision. But I think up until that age, you're allowed to dress your children according to what you want to do until they say that they don't want to do that. I don't think there's extreme people out there that are saying you can't dress them in any colors, like you have to dress them completely plain, and then they decide from one years old how they want to be. Like, I, I think that's a little extreme. So I'm not going as far as to say that. I guess I should start with how this whole video idea came to me. It's basically because I've seen this one post on Facebook several times shared by people that I'm actually friends with on Facebook. Facebook's just a lovely place, but I've seen this post shared by multiple people, and overall, like, the list isn't the worst, but there are several things on it that, like, I've seen. I've just looked at it and just been like, okay, I'm, I'm making a whole video based out of this, but this is where it started. So I saw this list on Facebook that says rules to teach your son. So this is clearly directed just towards children that are boys, not not girls. You don't have to teach your daughters these. These are just for your son. So let's let's read over the list real quick. So number one says never shake a man's hand sitting down. I, I get that it is, it's polite to stand up um, and shake someone's hand. The first rule, like that's fine, whatever. That I get that's out of politeness. Number two says don't enter a pool by the stairs, which I, I don't get why that's necessary to teach anyone. Like if someone doesn't want to jump in, I don't think they should have to. I don't a majority of this list I understand. Like they're just like basic things. They're just like being respectful and stuff. Stuff, but there are a few things in here that I saw as kind of a little bit toxic. One being that like number nine says play with passion or don't play at all, which I think is a really bad thing to teach kids. Again, it depends on what you're talking about here, but if you're just teaching in general play with passion or don't play at all, that's just going to raise really competitive children that are just like really aggressive. I used to hate when I would play games when I was younger with people and they would get so mad if they lost and that's because you taught them to play with that much passion. Like just calm it down. Like it's just a game. Whenever I was like in PE in middle school and like we were just playing like a little game of basketball, like people would be like so mad at me that I wasn't like making anything or like playing like it was a f***ing like actual like real game and I was like guys we're literally in physical education right now. Like if you could just bring it down 30 notches, you don't have to play with that much passion right now. It's just a game. And even into my adult life these days, like when I see other people getting that like aggressive over like like trivia night at a bar like bring it down you do not have to play with passion at all things that you do like it's okay unless you're like in the f***ing olympics like it's it's not that serious you can calm down number 10 the one after that says when shaking hands grip firmly and look at them in the eye and i cannot describe to you how annoying it is that there is this actual thing that men should shake hands where they're at the point of like trying to break each other's hands like you have to go in and like literally squeeze to prove your male dominance. Like, 
That is the most ridiculous thing ever. Once I got to a certain point in my life, I think around the age like 18 or 19, when I realized that I'm completely comfortable with who I am, I broke every single one of these like toxic traits that like society wanted me to do. And now I truly don't even give a about trying to like even try and fit into anything. I'm so comfortable with myself that I don't feel the need to go out of my way to do these things to prove how masculine I am to other people. Um, so when I shake people's hand, I have the most gentle handshake ever. Anyone that's ever shook my hand can confirm that because I simply just stick it out and then I just, I just allow it to do its journey. I'm not gonna go out of my way to go out there and uh, physically like try and break someone's hands. And like whenever I do meet like an older white guy, usually is what it is, they'll go in and literally try it. It'll like hurt. And I'm like, what What are you doing? <laughs> like I, like we're meeting for the first time and your first thing is gonna be you squeezing the fuck out of my hand. Like why like this toxic masculinity thing about it is that you have to go and break someone's hand to show that you're more dominant than them. And whoever has the stronger handshake out of that wins for the day and you get to go be a man while the other one is is less of a man because they didn't shake your hand as hard. There's also this one number 12 which is just really dumb to me which says if you need music on the beach you're missing the point um which I don't get why that has to do with like teaching your son that. I literally literally cannot do anything without music playing. Sorry I wash the dishes with music playing. I take a shower with music playing. I sleep to a rain song because I have to hear something. I ride in the car with music playing. I skateboard with music playing. I literally if I could have music playing right now I would I just would get copyright so making videos is kind of hard because I can't listen to anything but so when I go to the beach I love listening to music I love hearing the waves and listening to music why can't I do that I don't even know if that's like a toxic masculinity that's just being dumb as that was only, I think that was only like three or four maybe from this list. Other than that, this list is like kind of, it is things that you should be teaching your son. Like write down your dreams, I agree with, that's something that you should do. Uh, be confident and humble at the same time, yes. That list wasn't too bad, uh, I was just letting you guys know that that's what caused this thinking that I have. So what I did is I actually made a list of things that are personal to me that I've actually gotten from people for that I'm not up to society standard of a man because I have these things so number one on this list is having a masculine voice which is something that I have had since fourth grade maybe I don't know what age you go through puberty but whatever age it is my voice just did not drop like others did and it's st I'm still 22 years old sounding like I'm in sixth grade I have a very high-pitched voice and it doesn't help that I also talk with kind of like um I have like a little bit of like a valley girl-esque thing going on because I, I say like a lot um and I also I drag out my words to where it's kind of like a it's not the traditional masculine way of talking and part of that is because my voice is naturally a little bit deeper but but I think when I talk, I try and make it a little bit higher to seem less threatening to people. And also, so I'm not as boring. Like if I just, I can, okay, let's do an example of how boring it would be if I was just, okay, so today we're gonna be talking about um, toxic masculinity and why it's not it's not good for you and how you shouldn't be acting like see if like I I need to have some kind of like something to make up for it, you know? Cause I, I wanna come off as like, cause I already have like a resting bitch face, like. Like, that's just me chilling. Like, I'm not even trying to be mean, but that's just me, like... Like, that's just how I'm chilling. So, to make up for that, I, I like to go out of my way to be, like, extra nice to people. And I feel like talking with, like, more of, like, an approachable voice would make people want to, like, hear me. Unfortunately, that hasn't been the case my entire life. So, I've had people, like, ask me, like, why do you talk like that? Like, you have a gay voice. Which, also, that brings me into the point of... Being gay is not in the same category as not being masculine, okay? There's totally masculine gay people. I, I think that some people mix them two together, which is why, like, when guys are, like, affectionate to their friends, when they say, like, oh, I love you, bro, like, no homo, though. Like, you don't have to say no homo just because being affectionate towards one another is that's not synonymous with being gay, and I think that, that gets mixed up a lot. It's okay to tell people that you love them, no matter what other gender they are. It's That's perfectly fine. No one's gonna assume that you want to have sexual intercourse with them. I think that is toxic that there's people out there that like literally don't say what they want to say just because they don't want to be viewed as anything other than a man and I think that if you were really comfortable with yourself you would just allow yourself to talk however you want to which is what I do. Yeah so I, I, I think that's like the first impression that I give people is when I talk the way I do they're automatically like oh he's gay. Which, again, like, isn't related to not being masculine or not, but people put them together. So another big thing that I've gotten sh for my entire life is that I mainly only have 
female friends. So I've always been able to make friends with girls better just because they've always been more friendly and open. And, but men are definitely more afraid to be in touch with their feminine side, so they're like they're less likely to be friendly to other guys. But I see a lot of big groups of guys that are friends together. I don't know why personally it's always just been harder for me. I guess it's just because of the way that I act and like people are afraid of like interacting with me because they don't want to also be classified as gay by interacting with me because I'm someone who acts more feminine. There's also this big like toxic mindset that you should only like be friends with a huge group of guys and only have like a few girlfriends and also there's also like if you're in a relationship that's even worse like you can't have any girlfriends if you have an actual girlfriend which is extremely toxic because like I every friendship that I meet I'm not like out there desiring to, to have sex with them you know I'm just trying to have an actual friendship with people so that's why it's so hard for me to have a best friend that's a girl in like this society where Maddie is my best friend but I also have a girlfriend and so people automatically assume like oh is she okay with you having that I'm like why the why the not like we've been friends since first grade we're not trying to have sex with each other like I can be friends with the opposite sex without there without there being a problem I don't understand that I don't get it I think there definitely does need to be some change in there because automatically whenever I say that I have a girl best friend everyone's mind is like wow is how is Alexandria reacting to that like how is how does that work like we've all three slept in the same bed before definitely something toxic revolving around having friends of the opposite sex especially when you're a man and another huge thing is the fact that I never played any sports. When I was in preschool, I was on a basketball team and I absolutely hated it. I have one vivid memory of me like shooting it into the hoop and like I missed or whatever and the ball came back and hit me on the face and I was like, this why am I doing this I don't want to do this I literally just got hit in the face I don't I don't like being in pain sorry I'm, I'm I'm out it's not for me and so I think that ruins sports for the rest of my life me and Alexandria played tennis the other day that was fun because there's like not a chance of you getting hurt but like football that has never been my thing I don't like watching football I don't like playing it sorry and that automatically drops my man points like 50 points if I don't like football I'm I'm not a man anymore. I'm I'm gay, which also <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Like, I, I'm gay and I'm not a man if I hate football. And so growing up, like, that automatically separated me from every guy because every guy was, like, obsessed with sports in, like, high school and middle school and, like, I just wasn't. So that made me have no friends and I... So then my group of girlfriends grew even bigger. And, I remember when I went to college, I like told my dad, I was like, why didn't you make me do sports? Cause I could have been like on a full ride, like scholarship with like a, like a soccer scholarship or something. And he was like, well, cause you didn't want to. And I was like, wow. That's actually like great parenting. Like if your kid doesn't want to do something, don't force them to do it. I know so many kids out there that are playing sports that they are only doing because their parents want them to do. If you're a parent watching this, don't make your kids play a sport they don't want to play. Don't make them do it, okay? Just because like you you have like it'll like build character or something they don't want to do it and it's actually gonna make them resent you in the future and, and that's so toxic that we're like forcing like, these boys to go and play football some actually do enjoy doing it and that's great great for them but for the ones that are out there like doing it just because their parents want them to do that like, go do something else like they made a whole high school musical that he was playing basketball and also wanted to be in theater like he wants to do other things dad it's okay to not want to play sports and that's that's where I was I think it's just very toxic that men are supposed to like those things like it's a very classic definition of what a man is like you're supposed to watch football on Sundays while drinking a beer and like while your wife cooks dinner like you're okay this one's really dumb but handwriting which is like it blows my mind how like idiotic these toxic things are that we've created for men to not be able to do and so one of them is handwriting and I've I've gotten several times about my handwriting being too girly I guess like not not man enough like if you're if you're a guy you're automatically supposed to have handwriting you're supposed to be able to be unlegible when I was growing up I actually my penmanship was terrible and so I made it better and I actually started to get into calligraphy and I'm not great but like doing this was like not an option in like middle school or high school because if you if you write pretty not a man. You can't do that. It's so insane to me that there's actually people out there who think that if you do stuff like this, like, you're, you're just less, like, you're, like, you're just automatically gay, which again has nothing to do with being masculine or not. The next thing is listening to music. My music genre is vast. I love anything with a good sound. I have I have Lana Del Rey on this side and I have The Weeknd on this side. Now if you listen to The Weeknd, you're a man. Great. He talks about popping pills and f***ing bitches. However, if you listen to Lana Del Rey on this side, not a man anymore, you're instantly gay. 
not a man because she sings about sugar daddies and that's just so gay for you to listen to. <laughs> but jokes on you guys because I love both of them. Jokes on you again because I cannot relate to their music at all because I've never done cocaine or heroin. Like I can't relate to either song but you know what they both sound beautiful and I love both of them. Like I feel like there's this huge thing in society right now that if you're a man you can only listen to like hip hop rap and like R&B and that's it. You can't listen to anything else because like if you're listening to like female artists not a man anymore. Like, you have to listen to hard, trap-sounding rap only, and that's it. You have no musical taste if that's the kind of mindset that you're having, and I don't understand why that's... Why that's even something that should be discussed. I remember I remember in high school, like, I literally, like, when I would be playing music on my phone, and, like, it would, like, I would get a notification, and, like, the music that I was playing would show up, I would, like, hide it. Because I'd be afraid that people would know that I was listening to Lana Del Rey in the hallway, which is so dumb of me then, but, like, that's literally the reality that we're living in, is that people have to be afraid to listen to the music that they want to just so that they won't get judged as being less of a man. Which is why I'm so happy I'm at the place I am now and hopefully this video is inspiring someone out there to just say f it and do what you want to do because you only live once and if you're really worried about like what people are thinking about you, you're not living your life to its fullest. Another point is that there's like this, there's this like mindset, I've seen this on Twitter, Facebook, I've seen it on Instagram too of like this like, this huge controversy of like people saying if you're in a relationship with a guy and he makes like blah 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 and you make blah 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 and you're paying most of the bills like will you, would you even be with him? Which like First of all, if you are with someone just because of the amount of money that they make, then you are with them for the wrong f***ing reasons. Okay? Someone had to tell you. If you're in a relationship with someone and you're worried about like who's paying more, you guys are not going to last. Sorry. The reality of it is that if you're in a relationship with someone, it doesn't matter who's making more, if you guys are both contributing to it and you guys just have the money to pay for it, then that's fine. That, then that's just it. You guys can keep your money separate, but like if rent needs to be paid and someone's making more than the other, someone's gonna have to pick up the slack. You guys can split it evenly like, and newsflash, okay, for those of you guys that didn't know, me and Alexandria have tried to split everything before and sometimes it doesn't work. You wanna know why? Because we both get paid differently. At one point I was making more than her, at one point she was making more than me, at one point we were making the same amount. During those times, we have to accustom for what what our needs are okay and when I'm making more money I buy dinner and pay all of rent when she makes more money she pays rent and buys all of dinner like that's how it works and whoever's making more money helps each other out because that's what a relationship is okay and so there's like this big stigma that guys should go out there and like pay for everything while the woman stays at home which is like a 1950s like state of mind like I don't think that that men allowing women to pay for things is less less masculine at all I don't, I don't agree. I think that if you're comfortable with yourself, you can allow women to pay for things for you. <laughs> These are all making me laugh so hard because they're so dumb. But this one like, literally is so dumb. Dark alcohol and beer versus like girly drinks. Men are supposed to drink beer only or like a Jack or like Crown Royal or something dark. Okay, and that's all they can drink. That's the only options that they're limited to. While I see like a girl drinking like a nice margarita swirl like with the pink and like, like nice drizzle and like sugar on the rim, like I want something like that. That looks like that tastes good. Okay, beer is f***ing disgusting. I'm gonna go and order a girly drink from the bar because it tastes better. I'm sorry that I like the way things taste. I've never been afraid ever to drink a girly drink from the bar because they taste better and I'm going to get drunk the same amount as you are, maybe even a little bit more, while also enjoying it. I'm not, if I go and order a beer just to look manly, I'm not gonna enjoy my time and I'm probably gonna throw up because I hate the way beer tastes. How is that less of a man of me because I like girly drinks? That mean, like, have you never drank lemonade before? Like, that's a, that's a girly drink too. Like, I don't understand where that even comes from and I don't understand why that's that's literally something that people think about. They're like, oh, I don't want to order a girly drink from the bar so people will look at me. I will gladly slurp up that pink margarita, okay? And last point that was relevant to me was that um, there's like girl toys versus boy toys, which again, like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm not going to say that you shouldn't be giving your kids like toys based on their gender because you totally can, that's fine. And they haven't made up their mind yet but when I was younger I grew up with a sister who had a lot of like Barbies and like girl toys like that and I always wanted to play with them and like I, I usually did because like that was more fun to me like I also loved playing with Hot Wheels and shit like that like I loved playing with all toys there's parents out there that don't allow their boys to play with girl toys because they don't want them to grow up being gay or like less masculine because they played with girl toys when they were younger like, why can't you just let your kid have fun that's so, that's so toxic to not allow your children to play with toys that they didn't want to. If your child comes out to you as gay, I can guarantee you 100% it's not because you allowed them to play with a girl's toy. Guarantee you, 100%, that is a fact. But if your son wants to play with a girl's toy, let them, okay? It's not gonna determine whether or not they're less of a man. Like, literally, like, what's... 
<laughs> and why are people so afraid of their child end up being gay like anyway that shouldn't even be a problem but who oh my god I'm out of breath from all that ranting I'm so sorry if I like seemed like I was just yelling at you personally I'm not you it's just there's so much negativity in society like when everyone could just be who they are and everyone everything would just be fine but there's just so much judgment and everything again I did not mean to offend anyone if I did I'm so sorry maybe change your minds <laughs> the only people that I could imagine offending from this video are people that are still stuck in their conservative ways so maybe just kind of like try and you know move like progress a little bit and maybe for the next generation we won't have to raise up so many toxic men like they're just very small minimal things that like literally are, are so heavily judged on when they're literally things that don't matter like if everyone just worked on perfecting themselves everything would be fine and how about we just all grow up and like raise our children to be like good good humans rather than like forcing them to like be either good men or good women let's just let's just start with the basic standards of just being good people and then everything else will fall into place okay so sorry for those of you that wanted funnier content go watch my other videos or maybe next week's but i feel like this is something that needed to be said just because it's personal to me and i feel like it's not talked about that much hopefully someone out there watching this got some kind of insight to it like they were like oh you're right i shouldn't i actually shouldn't be judging people about how they do things for any men that are watching this out there that are stuck in these ways let me let you know that you do not have to okay it's perfectly fine to just accept who you are be comfortable and I promise you'll feel freer because I feel free all right I think we can end it there so thank you guys for watching if you made it this far if you guys have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below I make new videos every single Saturday which means that you get a new video every single Saturday sometimes they're better than last make sure to give this video a big thumbs up down below and share this video to your toxic masculine friends and I will see you guys next week bye